Hello everyone, today I'm going to bring you guys a loadout video of my entire kit for Milsom's events, ops. This is my all around loadout for these events and these style of gameplays. And then I'll show you guys my variation of open plays of how I'll run this loadout but in open plays because it's slightly different than how I would in Milsom's events and ops. But for Milsom's events and ops, my loadout is usually the exact same every single time. So I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of that right now. Starting from the top. So first off, I use the KMCS Booney. Uh, it's very adjustable. It has an adjustable chin strap and an adjustable back head strap. And I'm running my power bank in the back, just zip tied with a GoPro mount. I'll go over cameras in a separate video, but that's how I set it up for my boonie setup. Then for my face covering, I'm going to start running my Balak Lava a little bit more. I ended up losing my uh, Realtree uh, Balak Lava style face covering. So now I'm going to use this more often in my gameplays for just my standard loadout. I'm going to start running this. Even if I'm not running my ghillie, I'm going to run this as well because this is a really good concealment for that. Next up, I'm going to go over my mesh mask. Uh, this is the one you guys see in most of my videos. This is when I'm running my um, green base loadout and my tan base loadout. If it's more restrictive on face coverings, I'll use my actual green based mesh mask, but otherwise I run this one like I normally do. Now for goggles, I run Aegis uh, goggles, which is just an Amazon pair of goggles. Honestly, these work perfectly. I've never had a problem with them. Uh, people always ask me, why don't you ever fog? Well, these goggles, cheap, but they're effective and I never fog up with these goggles. They're perfect for the job. But uh, when it's a little bit sunnier out, I'll wear the tinted lens. When it's not sunny out or if I'm running my ghillie, I'll run clear lens. Now moving to the gloves I wear, just mechanics gloves. I don't really care about color. This is the gloves I've been wearing for the longest time now and this is what I use. Uh, for head, uh, for like comms and stuff, pretty standard. Most people use the Baofeng, uh, I'm trying to think, UV 5, 5R, I think that's what it is. It's just the standard Balfang radio. It's like 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. Works great. And then just the cheapy little headset, which works perfectly fine with my setup for my Balfang. And yep, it's push to talk. Got, it has the little uh, microphone right here to talk into. Earpiece and headband to keep it strapped to your head. Uh, now I'll go over the shirts I wear. Now I typically choose Multicam Tropic, so I usually run the run with the green base factions most of the time. I'll be running uh, my Multicam Tropic loadout. This uh, this specific brand is Emerson Gear. Uh, uh, what's the name? It's Emerson Gear uh, Blue something blue. I can't think of the name. I'll put a little subtitle or whatever uh, so you guys can know what this is. But uh, it's Emerson Gear, and it's been working great. I've had it for the last year, and the only thing I've ever had a problem with is the uh, where is it? Is the knee pads? Yeah, right here. The knee pads. The knee pads are not the greatest for these specific pants because mine ended up tearing and ripping off my pants but everything else like the quality of the fabric and everything had nothing is ripped on these pants other than the knee pads falling out and ripping and not functioning well but everything else works great uh, it has a couple pockets for extra stuff like dead rags and whatever else you may need like uh, bbs or like a speed loader or something like that you can throw in these pockets and it works great uh, pretty typical with uh, BDU pants and 
stuff like that. But uh, I'll go over now the chest rig I run. Uh, it's a pretty basic setup. It may look complex, but it really isn't. It's pretty standard. Uh, it's an HSGI AO small chest rig, and uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it has a molly system all the way across it, and if you want to put a uh, dangler, you can because it's Velcro in the back, so you can Velcro uh, tap it in with the uh, dangler hanging right here. Uh, I'll start from the right side. Uh, this I normally don't use. It's actually my first ever cry gear, so now I'm a, uh, a cry fan, but not really. Uh, but what I normally use was this universal holster by Novrich. Works great. It literally uh, holds every single uh, pistol I've ever ran. This has been compatible with it. So normally I run this, but now I'm going to start running my Glock as my main secondary because the AAP01 is going to be a different build, which won't be possible to run as a secondary anymore. So I'm going to be running my Glock, my Omerex Glock 18C. So this holster works for that just fine. And you guys will see a build video on the AAP01 here soon. I've been kind of showing you, telling you guys about that recently. You guys will see it, don't worry, it's coming soon. And uh, now we'll move to this. This is the uh, MC Kydex. Uh, MC Kydex uh, noob, uh, noob Tube, and this holds three EG67s uh, in here. This was what holds it on top, so none of the uh, grenades fall off, fall out of the holster for the grenades. And then you can easily put them in by just widening that gap right there. To take them out, you stick your hand right here, press down on this, grab a grenade and you toss it. Pretty simple. MC Kydex did not provide the mounting hardware, so I recommend just getting some zip ties or getting the mounting hardware <laughs> to mount it to your uh, uh, chest rig. Uh, the knife I went with is just a Novridge knife, Novridge knife, my bad. Uh, it's just zip tied onto the chest rig and it's not gonna fall out. This rubber knife is fantastic. Uh, I've only had to replace it once, <laughs> so uh, that shows you how durable this thing is. And it just slides in like that, and you can velcro tie it so it stays strapped in. Uh, another Novich product that I'm using on this chest rig is the admin pouch. Uh, it's great for holding extra stuff. I usually hold my extra VSR mags in here, along with a speed loader. I do run two speed loaders. One speed loader holds my sniper BBs and the other speed loader holds my .2s BBs for the pistols that I run because I always run .2s normally in my pistols and that speed loader typically has a unicorn adapter by Tritos Designs and that thing is amazing and I recommend that highly. Uh, for my pistol mag pouch I use a T-Rex Arms Kiwi double pouch for pistol mags, this thing works great. Uh, works just like that, and then when you want a mag, just pull it out. It's based on retention, so it's stuck in there, it won't fall out, and when you need it, you just pull with some force, and you got your pistol mag, and that's fantastic for that. Another thing that I run on my back for Milsom's events and ops, I run my hydration pack, and that, I will always hold my, well, my hydration uh, bladder, but I also will hold green gas, usually Elite Force green gas, or the Nuprol red gas by Novridge, and I also will hold a Ace Bandage in there as well. This is my first Ace Bandage that I'll use for quick medicing and the other ace bandage I'll have in my hydration pack, which I will show you guys in some B-roll clips of that. And then uh, also I have in my admin pouch, speaking of my admin pouch, I run a dead rag, an extra barrel cover, and some heat warmers for when it gets cold out. And then just some extra string and 
got a CO2 canister in there too. But just some extra little goodies for when I need them on the field. And then uh, another thing that I want to tell you guys about in this video is my main weapon of choice. Normally when I run Milsom's Ops and Events, I will use my VSR-10, which is pretty standard, you guys have seen quite often. But another gun that I will whip out from time to time is my L96, my Tokyo Marui L96. Both of those guns are upgraded and customized, and they work great. But typically I run the TML-96 for open plays because it's a little bit more of a difficult rifle to run because it's a right-handed system. I'm a lefty, so that's why I run my VSR, and it has a left-handed conversion kit on it, so I can run that just fine. And then for other ops and milsons and events, sometimes I run the SSX 303. That's kind of my in-between. I'll jump from open place to milsons to open place to milsons. With the SSX 303, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Uh, but typically for milsons, I'll run my VSR. And open plays, I'll run my L96. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for this video. Oh, footwear. Uh, let me take off my shoe. This is the footwear I use. These are my Ultima, uh, like mid, uh, mid tops. They're like tactical boots. I can't think of the name. I'll put the uh, subtitle up on what type of boots these are exactly. These are just multi-cam black, they're mids, so they work great for outdoors and indoors. An all around great shooter. Man. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys can hear some construction going on because down here it's a little hard to do this loadout video, but that's about it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I was finally able to get this loadout video for you guys, and uh, that's pretty much all I have. And I'll get, see you guys on the next video, and stay tuned for the rest of the videos I have for you guys. Have a great day.